This is Shenandoah National Park, protecting part of the Blue Ridge Mountains in north central Virginia. It covers 200,000 acres of protected land. Located just 75 miles west of Washington, D.C., it offers a respite from the busy capital. Actually, before Camp David, it was a presidential getaway. The park was established in 1935 by Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Here are some things you'll want to do when you visit. As always, it's best to start your time here at the Visitor's Center. Shenandoah has two visitor centers 25 miles apart, the Dickey Ridge Visitor Center and the Bird Visitor Center. Talk to a ranger or even arrange to get a tour with one. The main road that runs north and south through the park is called Skyline Drive. It's 105 miles long with a 35 mile an hour speed limit, so it will take you three hours to drive the entire thing, and that's only if you don't stop. The park is skinny and long with many of the best views and hikes in the center. Most of the trailheads begin off this road. There are over 70 places to stop for lookouts and viewing along Skyline. There are over 500 miles of trails available to hike in Shenandoah. The Appalachian Trail has 101 miles of trails that run through the park too. A couple of easy hikes, just a mile long apiece, are Stonyman and Black Rock Summit. Dark Hollow Falls is another short, popular hike that will bring you to one of the tallest waterfalls in the park. The Bareface Mountain Hike involves some rock climbing, making it an exciting one mile hike. It's perfect for older kids. Rose River Falls is a four mile loop that takes you to many waterfalls along the way. Hawksbill is a three-mile hike and will take you to the highest peak in the park. For a more challenging hike, you can check out Old Rag. It's nine and a half miles, but totally worth it when you see the panoramic views at the top. If you visit during the summer, you can enjoy the blackberries. They are plentiful in the mountains there, and you're free to eat away. But even if you visit when they aren't ripe, you can still enjoy the juicy delights in many of the park's restaurants, in some famous cobblers, pies, and ice creams. Packing a picnic, and of course pairing it with some Shenandoah Valley wine, will make for a leisurely fun meal. There are lots of picnic tables in the park, and some areas even have grills. For a bit of history, you can explore the summer presidential home at Rapidan Camp. President Herbert Hoover purchased 165 acres here at the start of his presidency. In addition to their own presidential cabin, the Brown House, the Hoovers built cabins, an outdoor fireplace, and gardens. Rapid and Camp was the retreat home for President Hoover and served as his sanctuary during a trying presidency during the Great Depression. The Hoovers hosted a wide variety of dignitaries and businessmen during their time here. At the end of his presidency, the Hoovers donated the property to the American people. It's been restored to what it would have looked like in 1929.
Shenandoah has one of the country's densest populations of black bears, so you'll most likely see one, along with lots of other wildlife, like deer, raccoons, fox, owls, coyotes, and turkeys, among many other things. The park has five campgrounds. They also have a range of cabins, from simple and rustic to more available amenities. Shenandoah is also one of the most dog-friendly national parks. Dogs are allowed at all of the campgrounds and nearly all of the trails. Just outside the park are some fun places to check out, too. Luray Caverns is the largest cavern system in the eastern United States. You can take a guided tour down into them, and there's also a rope adventure park that's been a big hit with the kids. Natural Bridge is a state park in Virginia and is a National Historic Landmark. It's a bridge carved out by Cedar Creek. There are seven miles of trails to hike in this area as well. So if you are planning a trip to DC, be sure to add a stop at Shenandoah National Park for a day. The beautiful drive and the lovely hikes through forests, rocks, and along waterfalls will provide a bipartisan appreciation for all that nature has to offer. Thanks for watching Shore Me Some More. If you enjoyed this video, please click to subscribe to our channel and hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to tap the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to know when we post our next story about the shores, outdoors, and more.